All right, we are we out here. Uh, this is another YC on the streets. I I'm Natalie, and we're gonna go ask people what they. Mike. Phone. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, one second. Yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Today we're talking about technology. Apple versus Android. Is it bad for us? Who knows? Let's ask some people on the street and find out on today's YC on the streets. Do you think Apple or Android is better? Uh, they both have separate qualities that some are better than others. So they're both, I guess, different in their own ways. Which one do you have? I have an Android, but only because I broke my iPhone. Interesting. iPhone. Wow, that was quick. Um, it doesn't explode. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't go on fire. That's enough for me. <laughs> Apple. Why so? Quality. Um, yeah, all quality. What the kind of quality? Fire. What kind of quality? Good quality. Y'all. I'm bilingual. I, I have had an Android in the past, um, and then when I had the opportunity to get an iPhone when I had to renew, I said, well, let me try the iPhone, uh, because I like to see how the different um, PC, Mac, iPhone, Android work. So I've used both. Nice, nice. Definitely Apple. What's wrong with Android, y'all? Well, I mean, Android really lags a lot. The phone's overheat, can't hold a lot of space. That was one phone, my guy. Well, yeah, but that's the truth, though. I mean, Apple is better at space, build quality, reliability. And I guess, like, they're just a brand that really knows what to put into a phone and how to make it for a good amount of money. Ever dropped your iPhone on the floor face down? No, because unlike most people, I buy screen protectors and a case. Hmm. Apple or Android? No, don't go. Do you think technology is helping or harming society, people? Um, both. All right. Um, I would say it, it helps us in some ways. Um... I think in other ways it's making us a little more, maybe a little more shallow, a little more socially awkward. Now, the guy was already socially awkward, and now, um, <laughs> um, yeah, but I don't know, in other ways it connects us. Um, it, get, it presents all kinds of new opportunities, so that's, I think that's complex. I'm harming because it's taking the kids away from their books and the stuff they're supposed to really be doing. What if the books are on the computer? And the computers too need to go. Well, besides the internet, but you know they need to take off those websites that you know parental block. We need to, we need to you know support the parental block because it's crazy on the internet. You've seen some stuff, haven't you? Yeah, definitely. That kids should not be seeing, and Facebook has no type of parental like consent thing, nothing. I think it's how you use it. I think it is helpful. Um, there's a lot of things going on in society that are benefiting. 3D printing, I saw a great story where a dad was using 3D printing to help his child keep up with his prosthetics um, because as children grow, by the time they went through the normal um, channels, he would outgrow his prosthetic before it even came back. Right. You know, So those things are definitely helpful. It can be harmful. My daughter and I were out to dinner and, and the table next to us, everybody was on their phone. And she and I both had our phone, but we didn't have ours out, and we were talking. So, it, you know, people need to be conscious of how they're using their phones mm -hmm. and devices. And maybe for them it's fine. Like, right. they might have been with a book instead of with their phone. So, exactly. it depends. <laughs> Do you think we need technology? Well, I guess at the end of the day, it really depends on who's using it, because technology is this, it's sort of like a blessing and a curse. Depending on how you use it and, like, what you use it for, it can be really good. But then if you, like, misuse that power... Or it's like you make a really a mistake that seems like small, but that ends up to be a, something that like can follow you or haunt you to when you grow up. Then, yeah, it can really start to impact your life in a negative way. I think it's a want. Okay. I think we trick ourselves into thinking we need it. Mm -hmm. But you know, the other day I went on a bike ride, uh, Summer Streets. Have you heard of that? They oh, shut hey. down like Park Avenue. And I rode my bike down, I left my phone at home, and I, I spent like the whole day just out. I really didn't need didn't my phone. You don't need it. 
I only use my phone for social media, so I don't really like people contacting me. So I just, I'm old school. You see me when you see me. Do you mail people, write them letters? No, I'll go to your house and knock on your door. <laughs> a lot of times I think it depends on the person and their circumstance, but for the most part in today's society, it's really a need. Um, a lot of times people have gotten rid of their home phone landline, so it's the only way to communicate. Um, in some instances it's bad, especially like if your company doesn't pay for your phone or give you a stipend, but yet they still expect you to be available 24-7, exactly. so that's a negative. Um, and I'm in higher education, so I've learned that today more students, uh, their phone or their smartphone or their tablet may be their only device to connect to the internet. Mm -hmm. So for them it is a need, it's right. their everything. So um, I think it, it's really transitioning to a need. Okay. There are some populations that might still be a want, but in our society today, I think it's a need. We don't need it. I'd be fine with the flip phone. I just think iPhone, you want a smartphone, iPhone is better than an Android. I have an Android and I hate it. You know, a flip phone is technology, right? Oh, you mean like all technology? Yeah, we need technology. Technology, that's like a big thing, like a putting water in a glass, that's technology because the glass holds the water. That's technology somebody has to he got it right, y'all. He knows what technology is, not just computers. Considering that the iPhone 8 is coming out soon, um, do you think this is going to be a different phone? Do you think it's going to be like the groundbreaking new iPhone, or is it just another one? I haven't seen a lot of it. Um, it may just be another one. I know that the iPhone is starting to pay more attention to VR mm -hmm. and augmented reality, so I'm really interested to see what they're going to do in that market. With Android and now Google Pixel, they're really neck and neck in what they can provide the customer, so everybody is looking for that next new big thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure the 8's going to be that. I haven't seen a lot of it. I have still the 6S, so I'm not even on the 7. Um, but we'll see what it brings. I'm very interested in the augmented reality and the VR, virtual reality. No. I would not pay that much for any phone in the world. Never. That's too much. They owe Dean. <laughs> I think it's going to be another iPhone. I don't know. I don't know any details about it, though. I, I, I know they released some pictures. Camera looks really weird and stuff, but it uh, yeah. looks kind of like a Samsung. Maybe there will be no bevel. Maybe the like the screen will go all the way. Exactly, yeah. I don't know. Is that is that really like amazing? I, I don't know. <laughs> it just looks, like a, just looks like a galaxy to me. But. Yeah. I mean, once they start implanting them in oh. us, that'll be, I think, the next big that's step. The, that's the next step. Yeah, because right? mm -hmm. oh. it'll, it'll be like this big, and it'll just be like in your eyebrow right. or something. Of course. Um, <laughs> that's going to be weird. So you heard about the new iPhone 8 that's coming out? No, I didn't hear about that. You going to peep that when it come out? It's like a couple, couple uh, uh, months, yeah. I'll peep it. Um real question is can I buy it probably not I think it's like I think it's gonna be like 1500 right yeah that's that's more than your rent you heard about the new iPhone 8 that's coming out yeah I heard it was gonna be all glass all glass like they want their phones to break Let's talk about that build quality well yeah, I haven't heard much about it, but I do know that they're going to be improving the space, going to be like changing the shape of it, like keeping it the same, but maybe a little thinner. And build quality is going to be pretty sturdy, like it's going to be good to have a case, but I guess we'll be able to hold up more longer without a case. Don't know about the screen yet, though. That's going to be the really big test. You got money to buy it? Nope, I barely have enough money to buy a pair of socks. Technology, am I right? That's all for today's YC on the streets, guys. I think I'm gonna dump my phone now. I don't need no more. <laughs>